Um, in the last lesson, this is what we did. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to add this tiling to our page. Okay. Uh, we've written some tags here. So we have all these um, IDs and classes that we've added to our HTML. So we are simply going to target them from our CSS. So the first thing we would do is uh, create a new file and save that as index.css into our CSS folder. And let's make a link to that in our HTML. So that's in CSS folder and index.css file. Okay, so our index is linked up to our HTML and we can start targeting some of those classes. The first one is admin content uh, container. I would say margin top. Uh, push everything up by 20%. And the background color will be white and the border uh, top would be four pixels and the color will be E7, E, A, E, C and solid. And we are going to give this uh, a padding all round of 15 pixels. Okay, so let's save this and have a look. And there we have our background colors applied uh, to all our content, um, admin content containers. All right, so the next style is the dashboard left cell. We say padding right, it's five pixels. And we can see that's close to five pixels there. We're going to do the same with the dashboard left. So I'm just going to copy this, uh, paste this here, change this to right, and then padding right changes to padding left. And that, there we go. So we have that space there, five pixels. All right, so we have admin uh, content container, and in there we have the header. So I want to apply some styles to it. So the first I want to do is margin bottom, push everything below down by 20 pixels. And we want to add a, a border of one pixel, hashtag EEE -E -E and solid. Okay, we have padding, bottom is 10 pixels. All right, so let's save this and have a look here, see what happens. So we have our border, we have the space in there, okay. And the same applies to all the containers. So it's quite nifty. So we have this H5 um, within our header, which we can style next. So admin, content, container, uh, H5. Okay, so we can say margin is zero pixels all around it, so, and then we say padding top, uh, three pixels. Okay, so that's adjusted. Okay, all round, it looks good. Okay, so the next is this here. So we have this links. And that is called text link, if I remember correctly. Um, let's copy this and Command find, okay, that's correct. Okay, so this link, we want to change the color. So it's gray, grayish color. So six, seven, six, A, six, C. Okay, and there it goes. On mouse over, we want it to remain um, that gray color. Okay, hover. And a color, I'm not going to type this, I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Okay, uh, have a look, mass over, the color remains gray and that's fine. Right, so the next uh, style is for this section here. Okay, so the comment, the commenter name dash for dashboard and 
we want to give it a font weight, make it bold. And we want uh, the size, we want to be 13 pixels. And there we go. Um, something is not quite right with our HTML. Uh, two days should be over here, um, just like it is um, on this one. So let's copy two days and search uh, index and see. So this is the the one below is what we want. These two we want to change. So I'm going to say pull uh, pull left, which is just CSS for margin uh, float left. So we'll pull this right and then uh, clear our floats. Uh, we'll do the same thing here. Clear fix. I'll pull this to the left and we pull this to the right. Okay, let's have a look and that's what we want. So, so that's much better. So if we carry on with the, with the styling and we can target uh, the comment head uh, dashboard. Uh, margin bottom is six pixels, push everything down by six pixels, that's fine. And we have uh, the next class, I believe is comment um, dash. And then we can say margin, push everything below by five pixels. Okay, all right. The next one is our comments, dates, and dashboard. Put a dot for a class in the beginning. Make the color to be 999. And if you find that the change hasn't taken effect, um, what you can do is copy whatever class you're working on and go into the HTML and search for it. And okay, if it doesn't find it, it means the color, the spelling was wrong. So this is what we've styled here. So we just grade it out a bit. Okay, and we're not far off now. We have done that. So here I'm just going to uh, copy one row here just to even things out a bit. You don't have to do this, but bit OCD about this. Uh, paste it there. And that looks fine. I'll reset the page. Okay, so down here we have a bit of a, a space issue. So I'm going to uh, fix that. So if we go into our index, um, our dashboard has an ID, um, dashboard container. So I'm going to say padding uh, bottom. So add a padding of 100 pixel down below. And that gives us this space and it's all fixed. Okay, so this pretty much uh, concludes uh, the bootstrap um, that we've done so far. It's been emotional. Uh, thank you for doing this up to this point. <laughs> it's been very good. Um, so what is left to do is make all this work. Okay, so I'm going to um, connect this admin system to the front end, which I think is index.html, uh, which it's not. So I'm going to go into it manually and click on something like that. So this is the front end. So posts um, should be uh, populated for us. Uh, based on what we've entered in the back end of the of the system. So I initially wanted to do this with um, Node.js, but I've decided to do this with uh, Ruby on Rails because I'm doing quite a few things using Ruby recently. So I'm going to focus on just Ruby for now. So in the next lesson or the next project, um, completely new project, we are going to learn a Ruby programming language and use Ruby on Rails to uh, make all this work, save it to the database and read from the DB. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next project.